Hey Spartans, welcome back. It's been a hell of a week for Halo so far, and we just keep getting more and more as we approach the release of Halo 5. Today, we're of course talking about the latest issue of Halo Escalation, its final story arc on the absolute record that immediately precedes Halo 5. But enough of my ramblings, let's take a look. This is Halo Escalation, issue 22. Picking up from the last issue, Halsey and Jewel and Glassman, Tanaka, and Palmer are all being subjected to a test to determine who truly has the right to access the absolute record. And right away, we can see that the art looks amazing, a major step up from anything before. Where was this in the past? Anyway, we jump over to Breath of Annihilation to find a traitor zealot interrogating a Storm Sanghili. After a few panels, Ayit, pretending to be loyal to the Rebellion, kills the Storm and is ordered to join the hunt for the Spartan. Ayit ducks out, warning Thorn of the incoming Covey forces, and heads on to his own mission. Thorn, meanwhile, comes under fire from three wraiths, forcing him to evacuate Breath into the swamps outside. At this point, the comic frequently jumps between the story of the Absolute Record and Breath, so we'll wrap up with Thorn and Ait, then focus back on what's happening at the Record. After escaping Breath of Annihilation, the Covenant are out in full force after the Spartan as he hides in the swamp. Banshees fire into the marsh below as jackals, both Rutan and Ibyeshin, search on the ground. Thorn takes out two jackals, but not before getting shot with a needler to the side. And again, we have Spartan shields mysteriously disappearing because plot. Now, one could argue that some of the Banshee fire might have hit and drained his shields, but seriously, guys, we need to see this. Anyway, back on breath, Ait makes his way to Sali Neon's holding cell and frees him. Sali is thankful, but reluctant about his ability to rally any forces in the wake of his recent defeat. Ait masterfully plays on Sali's religious fervor, claiming to be a spirit of vengeance sent by the gods to grant Sali new life. Osman certainly wasn't kidding when she called Ait the most human Sanghili Oni could find. This half of the story pretty much wraps up here. Sully is free once again, and Thorn is bleeding out from the needler round in his side while Covenant forces hunt for him. Back at the absolute record, the test has begun. Both groups are given scenarios, and each must choose the best way to handle said scenario. The first has to do with a species found to have flood immunity. Now, while the Yonet are shown, I think it's just a stand-in, not meant to mean that they are actually immune to the flood or resistant or something. Anyway, the test notes that vivisection of the species has a 35% chance of yielding a vaccine against the flood, while post-mortem dissection would have a 33% chance of yielding the same results. The question is, what is one to do? Sacrifice the species for the greater good, or work with them cooperatively? As an aside, this test has a striking parallel to a test Dr. Halsey gave to John back in Halo First Strike. Having found that Sergeant Johnson was resistant to flood infection, Halsey created two reports, one containing her analysis for possible inoculation, the second containing the source for the analysis, Johnson's medical files. Halsey gave John both reports, asking him to choose which one to hand over to the UNSC, noting that while the UNSC would have a better chance of developing an inoculation with the latter report, it would very likely result in Johnson's death. The lesson she was trying to teach was that it's not necessarily justified to sacrifice one or even a few for the sake of the many. Which then brings us back to the Escalation story. Given the scenario, Glassman decides to work cooperatively with the species, while Halsey chooses to sacrifice them. Funny, given the story I just mentioned, but Halsey has changed quite a bit since 2552, and one could argue that she was just giving the answer that she felt would get her in. As the Monitor asks the second question, Halsey apparently hacks into the system and shuts the freaking Contender Class AI down. Really? <laughs> really? All this build-up and Halsey hacks her way in? I know she's the smartest human in the galaxy, and a forerunner expert at that, but come on! It's a Contender Class AI! That's just cheap! <sighs> so anyway, Halsey prepares to enter the absolute record and the issue comes to an end. I have to say, this is one of the weakest issues in the arc, which is even more disappointing in light of the massive improvement on the art front. I mean, the test was already kind of boring, and Halsey freaking hacked a contender! No, I am not gonna let that go! Sure, it could absolutely be part of the test, but as I said back when Black Team was killed, you can't just look at these comics as an overall thing. You have to also understand the context of the individual issue. And right now, it looks like Halsey shut down a contender class AI. Well, at this point, we can only hope that whatever Halsey finds has been worth the build-up. We have two more issues left in the arc, the next one coming out on October 28th, the day after Halo 5's release, and the release of the presumed final episode of Hunt the Truth Season 2. It's going to be an exciting time. Thanks for joining me as always, this has been Halo Canon, and until next time, keep shining. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. 
You are the reason I get to keep doing this. So thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.